Okay, first things first. So, as I said, every day I'm trying to spend like a couple of hours just chipping away at the debris inside, shoveling that out. So today I've got a choice. That room's now, God, that looks so good. So I can either carry on through here, all this concrete floor looks like it carries on, or I could go in here where I'm pretty sure there's not a concrete floor. I mean, seems like it's gonna be this. I mean, this bit is like pretty deep, but I'm gonna get as much done as I can today. Also, I'm gonna do a bit of prep around the area. So a bit of prep for pointing, a bit of prep for Calvin coming next week and all the clearing and stuff. So yeah, let's just do it. Just one thing I'm thinking about now is now that we're kind of this side of the building, instead of going all the way out up the ramp, maybe I could come out this way now, which is much shorter. And just dump it kind of here. Because the good thing is next week, Nick's coming with his little loader. So he said, I can just dump piles and he can just easily scoop them up and move them to where they need to go. So I haven't got to worry about it all going in one area. Okay, let's see what I can do.
I did not think I'd get all that done in this time. Look at the difference. I know I keep saying it, but it just changes every time. Look at the detail on the floor, how it changes. Like all the corridors are kind of this, you know, like diamond shape. And then in the rooms are bigger. Ah, God, it's looking so much better. Here's something I've just noticed. Well, now the basement's clear, I'm spending a bit of time just walking around, looking at different bits I haven't seen. I haven't dared really be in this bit yet because uh, there's a lot of stuff, but there's a bit of the basement you can't access. So there's a door under the terrace, there's a door under the terrace. This bit here, I'm just thinking, So here are the two doors, and there's this little square. Now it's not big, but it must be hollow. This is creepy, okay. It's either bodies or treasure. God, I'm dying to have a look down there now. Looks like the floor here is all collapsed in, but it's definitely, definitely a void. So it's only maybe like a meter wide by five meters long. And it looks like stuff's gone in there, but. I know you lot are gonna go mental over this. I've gotta have a quick look. It looks like there's a lot of debris here, but... so far just this old lemonade bottle but there's like i don't know there's like 50 centimeters of debris or more down there so anything that was there could be covered up god i love stuff like this i just love stuff like this not a job for now though but please just be Gold coins or something. So cool. On that note, there is actually another void in the basement under the stairs. So here are the stairs, which I assume would have been backfilled. This bit of wall's fallen down, unfortunately, but you can see through the gaps 
looks like it's hollow in there. Okay, I'm going to send you in with a camera and tell me if there's anything in there. Okay. Well, that goes deep. Now I swear, that looks like it's about three meters deeper than the bottom of the stairs. And it looks like kind of big original cobbles. Ah! I mean, this bit, I don't think there's any harm in taking a couple of these stones out because well, they're not doing anything at the moment anyway. anything in there. <sighs> Need a flashlight. You can see there, that's the bottom of the stairs. It's a good few metres to that floor. God. God, this stuff excites me. I know there's more important things to do at the moment, but, you know, this whole idea of this, like, old fortress being here, I just can't get out of my head. Just every little thing I find, and just... <sighs> anyway. You know what, I'm on a bit of a roll. I've got the ramp out there already. There's like this last concrete room to do, which is the boiler room. Just get it done, Dan. It's done! Okay, so it's only a small room, but I mean, the floor isn't great in here. Yeah. All clear. Here's a funny thing I noticed as well. 
this door's bricked up. And I was thinking, well, why have they done that? Obviously, that didn't fit through there. So that was the solution. So I didn't get, so I didn't manage to get any other stuff done, but I kind of got on like a clearing roll and I'm just glad I got it done. I'm surprised it got it done, but I'm glad. It's all looking so much better. Anyway, see you tomorrow. <laughs>